Hello children, all of you are again welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sarkolo and today I am here with a new chapter from class 8 science that is chapter 9 reproduction in animals and in this video today I will discuss about the whole reproduction process including the formation of gametes along with the uh, that is the different types of fertilization or internal or external fertilization all these things together I will discuss in this video. So first of all we, I have to, uh, we have to understand about the reproduction. What is reproduction and why it is necessary? What is the importance of reproduction? Dear children, reproduction means reproduce of the new organism. So, what is reproduction? The production of new organism or reproduce the new organism from the parent's body. This process is known as reproduction. Now, why this reproduction is necessary or essential? For, uh, why it is important? Dear children, you have to remember that reproduction helps to in the continuation of the species generation after generation if there is no reproduction there will be a, there will not be the continuation of the species so that is why reproduction is very important uh, in uh, for all the living organisms it helps to continuation it helps to in the continuation of the species generation after generation now i will discuss about the modes of reproduction just like the plants in animals also there are two different types of reproduction we can find two different types of reproduction in the animal's body first one is known as the sexual reproduction and another one is known as the asexual reproduction so we will discuss about the sexual reproduction now what is sexual reproduction the mode of reproduction in which gamete formation used to take place where the gamete formation the reproduction takes place with the formation of the gametes with the help of the formation of the gametes it is known as the sexual reproduction on the other hand uh, the reproduction where the gamete formation not takes place that means without the formation of gametes reproduction takes place this uh, process is known as the asexual reproduction so first we will discuss about the sexual reproduction to understand the sexual reproduction in animals we have to understand the different reproductive organ that is the male reproductive organ and the female reproductive organ so what are the male reproductive organs the male reproductive organs it includes a pair of testes then two sperm ducts and a penis this is the male reproductive organs what are the male reproductive organs again remember a pair of testes two sperm ducts and one penis this is the male reproductive organs and these testes they produce the male gametes which are known as the sperm and each sperm is the unicellular or the single cell and each sperm contains uh, they are very small in size and they contains one head their body structure the sp uh, body structure of the sperm is head a middle piece and a tail this is the structure of the sperm now when we discuss about the female reproductive organs female reproductive organs are a pair of ovida a, a pair of ovaries oviducts or fallopian tubes and the uterus this is the female reproductive organ again what are the female reproductive organ the female reproductive organ includes a pair of ovaries oviducts or fallopian tubes and one uh, that is the uterus so this is the female reproductive organ and this ovaries they produce the ova or the eggs and this egg is also uh, uh, unicellular just like the sperm when the sperm and this eggs they fuse together to form a zygote it is known as the fertilization it is known as the fertilization so now we'll discuss about the fertilization what is the uh, fertilization the first step the first step in the sexual reproduction is the fusion of male gametes and the female gametes from here the sexual reproduction start takes place so what is the uh, fertilization the process of fusion of male gametes and female gametes fuse together to form a zygote this process is known as the fertilization now when we are talking about the fertilization there are also two different types of fertilization first one is known as the internal fertilization and another one is known as the external fertilization now we will discuss about the internal fertilization when the fertilization takes place inside the female body it is known as 
the internal fertilization that is what the fusion of male gametes and the female gametes the fusion of male gametes and female gametes takes place inside the female body this process is known as the internal fertilization and we can say that uh, the common example of the internal fertilization are the human being animals just like the cow dogs cats etc this is the internal fertilization one important thing one more important thing we have to remember when we are discussing about the internal fertilization one more that is the ivf or in vitro fertilization now what is in vitro fertilization we have to understand about the in vitro fertilization or ivf there are some uh, moments their oviducts are blocked so that the sperm cannot reach to the ovaries so that they can meet with the eggs on that case what happened the doctors they used to collect the freshly released egg from the female body and freshly released sperm from the male body and they fuse uh, them the sperm and the ova they fuse them outside the female body that is in the test tube and leave it for few days for further uh, growth and development of the zygote when this zygote is fully developed they implant this zygote inside the female body then further development of the zygote that is uh, growth of the different organs just like the hands legs heads etc growth inside uh, it takes place inside the female body and after the uh, natural time the female body they give birth to the young ones this process is known as the in vitro fertilization though the this process is known as the test tube the, uh, the babies form uh, the babies born by this process are known as the test tube babies here we have to remember that the development of the embryo is not takes place inside the test tube the development of the embryo takes place inside the female body only the fertilization takes place in the test tube that is why this uh, type of uh, the babies born by this process are known as the test tube babies now we will discuss external fertilization what is inter, uh, external fertilization you will surprised to know that in many animals fertilization takes place outside the female body just as for example the toads uh, when during the rainy season the female uh, female they lay hundreds of eggs and these eggs are unlike the heads uh, unlike the eggs just like the hands they don't have an a uh, hard covering layer they are just uh, comparatively very delicate and a layer of jelly holds all these eggs together and when the eggs lays by the female body the male body comes and uh, that means they eject the sperm on these eggs they deposit the sperm on over them and each sperm swims randomly in water with the help of its long tail and the sperm come in contact with the egg and fusion takes place so that the fertilization happen and they, uh, after that this type of fertilization is known as the external fertilization because here the fertilization takes place outside the female body so this is uh, the type of external fertilization now we will discuss about the development of embryo how the development of embryo the growth and development of embryo takes place fertilization results in the formation of zygote after the fertilization we know that zygote used to form so fertilization results in the formation of zygote which begins to develop into an embryo the zygotes divide repeatedly again and again to for a uh, given structure just like a ball of cells and this group of uh, this ball then begin to form the group that develops into different tissues and organs the, which structure is known as the embryo and the embryo get embedded in the wall of the uterus and further development of the embryo takes place in the uterus when they are attached with the uterus the embryo contains Mm, the, uh, the embryo continues to develop into the uterus it gradually develops the body parts just like the heads legs hands etc the different body parts and when all the body parts develop this structure is known as the fetus and after when this fetus uh, fully matured the fully matured then the female body they give birth to the young ones so this is the development of the embryo inside the female body now we have to understand one more thing that is the viviparous and the oviparous animals what is viviparous animals and what is oviparous animals dear children we have to remember that the animals which uh, give birth to the young ones the animals which give birth to the young ones are known as viviparous animals example human being including the cow dogs etc 
and the animals which uh, they don't give the give birth to the young ones they lay the eggs these types of animals are known as oviparous animals as for example toads fish hands etc these are the oviparous animals so this is the different types of uh, uh, classification of the animals on the basis of the giving birth to the young ones viviparous and the oviparous now here one more important thing we have to remember uh, there are some animals when they develop from the young to the adults in their body structure the drastic changes takes place in their body structure the drastic changes takes place in some animals the young ones may look very different from the adults as for example if we say the silk one silk one when they lay eggs the structure of the egg develops into the larva or the caterpillar and this caterpillar further develops into the pupa and from this pupa further development then adults body comes out so there drastic changes takes place in their body structure from the young ones to the adults these drastic changes are known as metamorphosis what is metamorphosis the transformation of the larva the transformation of the larva into an adult through drastic changes is known as metamorphosis this is all about the sexual reproduction in animals in my next video i will discuss about the asexual reproduction in animals i hope this will be helpful for you and if you feel if you get little benefit from this video you can please share and subscribe my youtube channel that is science guru sarkolo thank you for watching this video